Hey everybody, Jeff Dunham. We're gonna do a video today that's a little bit off topic from anything I normally do. Usually I have the dummies and we're doing some sort of comedy. <laughs> or we're talking about cars. Had a little bit of a breakdown there with the Levi's Gremlin, but that's why you own two Gremlins. One breaks, you will get the other. But today, I wanna to talk to you about something that's been important to me for almost 30 years and do something that I have never done that I've been wanting to do for a few years. There's two things in my life that I have not accomplished yet that I wanna do. Number one is jumping out of an airplane. Not gonna do that today. The other is experience virtual reality. I've never done it, but we're gonna do it today. What game are we gonna use? A game that's been important to me for 30 years. A game called Mist that changed gaming forever. I've always wished that I could go to the Mist Island, and the Mist Island is where you're dropped at the beginning of the game. This game is one where you could not lose, you're never killed, there's no other players, there's puzzles, it's a thinking game. It was just something completely different from anything that had ever come into the computer gaming world. And this was my laptop, a PowerBook 180C. The C means it's color, because color was a big deal. They were black and white or green and white before that. This thing weighs about 10 pounds, and the screen is tiny and horrible. It's only 256 colors. While we're talking here, I want to show you just how rough we had it back in the early 90s when PCs and Macintoshers were first making a splash. And this was a big deal. This was a high-powered machine. I'm going to start it up. All right. Now while I'm talking, we'll just see how long it takes it to boot up until it's ready to go. Uh, the Mist uh, DVD is in there, and uh, I'm sorry, it's a CD, it's not a D. Oh, I probably scratched it, no, it doesn't work, it's great. So while it starts up, uh, the Mist CD is in this external drive. And again, we're still waiting for it to start up. Yeah, I think you've got plenty of time. Yeah. The Mist game was complicated. It was not easy. They even gave you a blank journal. I mean, talk about nerd and geek. I would sit in hotels sometimes till the sun came up, getting clues, walking around, making maps. But it was fantastic because it just made you think. I would literally be on stage at a comedy club and a solution to one of the puzzles would pop in my head. All right, so now, here we are at startup. So you use your trackball and uh, let me close this. Uh, oh, it's still not ready. <laughs> It's still booting up. And so you start your missed game. Here we go, double click. Still working on it. Here we go. There it goes. So before we get to the actual virtual reality game of Mist, I wanted to show you some of the graphics and, and what kind of quality we're talking about back in the, in the early 90s. Um, so this is a book, just like this Mist book over here. You click on the book and you're taken to the dock of Mist Island. All right, look at that. In most games today, there's water moving, there's other people. This was a slideshow. So basically, if you wanted to move forward, you just clicked and you're suddenly taken from this viewpoint to the next viewpoint and that's the next slide. You wanna go up the stairs, you click and you go up the stairs and suddenly you're up the stairs, right? And there's the top of the stairs, you know you've made your way there. In the virtual reality world, I, again, I'm hoping I actually get to walk around. But that's what it looks like on a 1993 uh, Apple Macintosh PowerBook 180C. The way I'm gonna experience virtual reality is through this right here. It's the uh, Oculus Quest 2. And they tell me this is all you need. But before we hook it all up, actually start walking around on Mist Island, I want to talk to Rand Miller. He's been a friend for all these years, and uh, I guess he's going to give me a few pointers on how to play Mist in virtual reality. Rand, how are you? Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Not man? much. I know you've had this from uh, other fans of the game, that everybody wished that there would be some sort of amusement park, uh, just some way to walk around Mist because it was so real. And the imagination really, really took you there, didn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you filled in a lot of with your brain, 
And I guess now with VR, you don't have to fill in quite so much. Well, I have no idea what you're talking about because, I, as I've said before, I don't know why I've never taken the time to do any virtual reality. I think oh, when man. I told you that, you were actually surprised, right? I can't believe you waited this long, but I'm excited for you to do it. Basically, you just, the, the game loads, you download it, you put it on the thing, and, and there's no wires, it's all self-contained, correct? Yes. And, and Matt yes. will be there, Matt will be there filming it and also to tell me, hey, you're about to jump into the bushes, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll make sure you don't run into cars, say, or trees. And you want to make sure you, especially if you've never played VR before, it's, it's a very comfortable normally, but there is a, uh, a way that like the experts play where you can just use the joystick to move around, to glide around in your chair or you don't have to move in real life. That may cause some, some amount of what we call discomfort. Wait, well, well, I've played video games before. Why is it discomforting to walk in a video well, game? Well, I, okay, so here's the deal. If you push the joystick forward in VR, yeah, then your eyes see you moving but your inner ear goes, nope, you're not moving. And it says, you must have eaten mushrooms. I'm going to um, get rid of those mushrooms. You should uh, throw up. <laughs> really? Well, that ran, now, now you've made me want to play it even more. Oh, boy, this is going to be entertaining. <laughs> so, what, so, <laughs> so now I'm really confused as to what this game, what's going to happen in this game. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, that may be, there's maybe two different things. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'm really going to be interested to see how this works for you, though. Not only was I dedicated to this game, but you, you were all in as the creator as well. I, I did want to show your action figure here. <laughs> 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 this is ran from Mist 3 Exile, and uh, next time we're together, will you autograph it for me? Oh, absolutely. All right, that's great. I hope you made that's a lot awesome. of money from your action figure. I don't think I can retire on my action figure <laughs> revenue. <laughs> that's great. Well, uh, Rand, this has uh, been really fun. I appreciate the tips of how not to get sick while playing Myst, and I can't wait to show you what we end up doing out there. No, oh, man, I cannot wait to see what you end up doing out there. <laughs> this is going to be great. Thanks, Jeff. All right. We'll see you at a show sometime soon. Thanks, buddy. See ya. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye. Bye. All right. Well, that was fun. Now it's time to take this to see what happens. Virtual reality setup. Now we're in the, the family room. And I defined my play area. I don't want to do this. I want to go to <laughs> Mist Island. Okay, so uh, we've set the Oculus Quest 2 up, and that was pretty cool just setting it up, but I have not been to the Mist Island. So um, we'll be seeing you there and on here. And Matt, you talked me into this stupid thing. <laughs> What's the point? I'm going to have goggles that you're going to see this. That doesn't look like much. All right, let's make sure this thing is on. So here we go. I'm in my little uh, virtual world here. Do I look fat in these goggles? <laughs> <laughs> All right, new game. Look at that. Do you see that? Yeah. How great is that? All right, I've never seen this stuff. This is too freaking cool. Wow. Oh, this is so crazy. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> I can't, I can't touch it. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm learning. I had to open the book. This looks exact, no, this looks way better than 1993. Yeah, that's, of course, of course it does. So this is the Mist book, and now if I'm gonna go to that age, I think I just touch it. <laughs> what do you, what, I, I think, I, I, if I go to that age, I just touch it and I go there. Uh, I'm in. Holy moly! What? This is nuts! It looks like you could crawl up these rocks. This is nuts! Yeah, so I can go walking over here. Oh, this is... Ah! <laughs> Alright, let's see if I move forward. Can I go forward? No? How do I do forward? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's the left stick. Oh yeah, it's every time I do the stick, it makes me want to fall over. I think this is the part where Rand said I'll get sick because it shows me walking, but I'm not walking. I wonder if I can walk over here 
So this is what he told me not to do, to move the joystick and, and walk like this. So can I step up here? No, can I, can I grab onto this? Is it, ah! Oh yeah, it makes me want to fall over. So this is a marker that you, you grab onto and move it. So that's one marker switch. That's just a marker switch. I know the game, I know what that's for. How do you get up the stairs? <laughs> There's a step here, but I can't, I can't, ah! I'm gonna walk up these stairs. And there's a marker switch over there, so I'll go do that one. Great. Look at this, unbelievable. If I jump down there, would I fall? I don't know. And I, I'm gonna tell you right now, there's a note on the ground up there. In the old game, it was 256 colors and a tiny screen, 640 by 480. Whereas this is like, looks like hewn wood from years ago and then old rope and the grass, you can see every blade. I don't know how you get any better than this. This is unbelievable. Oh, there's the note. The note's not on the ground. It's right here. I guess they didn't want you to fall and hurt yourself. For people who don't know what this game is all about, obviously you don't know what to do right now. If you've never been here, it's like, here's this island. Ah, okay, that kind of moving around like that makes me feel a little weird. <laughs> so the coolest thing about this game is that you don't know what's going on. You really have no clue. You're in this room and there's the bookcase with some burnt books and four or five not burnt books. And you got a painting over here. It's a red pathway and then where's the blue, the blue one? He's over, they're both red. Hmm. And, oh yeah, let me go over to this map. So yeah, like I said, you don't know what's going on. Okay, here, here's something interesting. So, so this is a, a clearly a map of the island because this is where you've been. So again, you don't know what's going on, but I flipped those marker switches on and now part of the island is, is, uh, is um, I don't feel good. Is, um, <laughs> is, is lit up. And now I guess if I turn this, if I know what's gonna happen, this is now gonna rotate. Can you hear that, Matt? I can. Yeah. And so what's happening is everything is rotating now. The whole building is rotating. Ah! It opened the stairway. Uh, now we can go in here. See? Why? Well, that's not good. <clears throat> Yeah, this will make you sick if you're not careful. Because, yeah, I, I see what Rand is saying. You're moving all over the place and your brain isn't, uh, your, your inner ear isn't doing what you're supposed to. Hmm. Oh, look at that. And I open up and I walk through. Can I walk through here? Oh my gosh. I really want a big room so I can keep walking around instead of having to move this thing around and get to the point where I'm gonna throw up. Doing all this is absolutely amazing. To be able to walk around here is just freaking nuts. Oh, look at this. So here's a date, October 11th. So here, here's a clue clearly on the wall and it says a key. So it's a key to a puzzle. So you would write down all this stuff, October 11th, 1984, 1004, and, and uh, a spoiler alert, what this is, is if I did the tower rotation, went to the planetarium, I get into the planetarium, I uh, enter all of these dates, and it gives you star constellations. Oh, it's just really complicated. So I'm gonna zoom around the corner here. I'm gonna zoom around in circles, ready? Uh, and my brain, it says I'm zooming around and around and around, and um, uh, Matt would, uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, well, I'm this way. <laughs> Just kidding. It's fake throw up. It's, it's virtual throw up. <laughs> it's virtual throw up. <laughs> <laughs> But I can see why people who might have a weak stomach or an inner ear might not enjoy that experience. The, the way to do it is to do what Rand said, where you just um, uh, you, you zoom to those places. But forget all that. This is 
amazing. Man, I'm actually surprised to take that headset off and be in this room. That is really, really, really fun. And congratulations to the, the, the folks there at Cyan for, uh, for recreating Myst. So for anybody who played Myst back in the 90s, uh, what a delight this is. And for a few hundred bucks, you can actually go there. I'm a big nerd with this stuff. I'm just uh, so uh, appreciative of Rand and Robin's creativity and all the people at Cyan uh, having first created that world and now to have continued for so many years. And now, again, two generations meeting uh, from 1993 to the technology of 2020 and 21. And for the Quest and uh, the Oculus people, man, this is great. Again, this is no commercial. I'm not getting anything out of this. Uh, just the fun. And then passing it on to anybody who wants to try it. This is great. I can't wait for the other games, too. I'm going to waste a lot of time. <laughs> Silence!